This is a Joseph Albers. Purchased March 18th, 1969. This is a Joseph Albers. He was in the Bauhaus. Interesting piece. This is called uh, Porta Negra, 12 of 50, 1965. It's a long time ago. And that's the kind of work that he did. There's a lot of reflection on this piece. Let's see what we got here. Oh, let's see if that does anything. You can see a little bit about that piece. I don't have this. I have this piece in my studio to keep it out of the sun. But it's, you know, it's a very interesting piece. Joseph Albers. That was a long time ago. 1965. I turned 15 years old in 1965. Okay. To give you that little little update. I'm Hello Rodney. Thanks for watching and bye bye. Hey, I'm Hello Rodney. Thanks for clicking on my video. That is the very first. The only, actually, the only thing that I ever had that I used to, uh, I used to use this on all of my videos when I first started making videos. So I have it right there. <clears throat> this is an area where I have, that's a different thing. This is a series I did, a big, long series, a very interesting series I did on that. We'll talk about that at some point. Uh, might as well light this. Little candle. Uh, I just want to do a little. <coughs> Boy, if I can talk, I just want to do a little video. To show some of the stuff in my studio. I'll show you this. This is an old book that I have. Johan Eiten, Elements of Color. A friend of mine who is dead now. He did these things right here. He did those things. Cook. Uh, and I met him in Silver City in, uh, I guess it was around 87. Right, was it what time? When was that? I can't remember when that was. It was a long time ago. Long, long time ago. So he, <clears throat> he introduced me to this guy, Johan Eiten, who was the, the uh, instructor of color at the, at the Bauhaus. This is a Joseph Albers, purchased March 18th, 1969. This is a Joseph Albers. He was in the Bauhaus. Interesting piece. This is called uh, Porta Negra, 12 of 50, 1965. It's a long time ago. And that's the kind of work that he did. 
there's a lot of reflection on this piece. Let's see what we got here. Oh, let's see if that does anything. You can see a little bit about that piece. I don't have this. I have this piece in my studio. And this is a catalog of a show in Europe, The Color of Money. This was many, many years ago. This is back in, I think this was in, like, I think it was like in uh, 19, 1996, I believe it was. And these are some of the, well, this is an interesting photograph. This is a photograph that I took, which is all of these glasses, stems of crystal, that are waiting to be, have uh, champagne poured into them, or whatever they were drinking, wine, at the opening in Salzburg. And this is, these are the paintings that I did. These are large paintings. <clears throat> this one's 175 by 115 centimeters, 69 by 45 inches. So these are large, <clears throat> large paintings. And uh, the opening was in Salzburg. And it was a great experience for me there. Very, very... Good experience. To me in Salzburg, and I met this. I met these uh, this dealer. <clears throat> I was living in Los Angeles at the time, <coughs> and I had a dealer that wasn't really doing a lot of a lot of good work. He was doing his best, but he he would sell things from here now every now and then. So what I did was I decided to go ahead and and go to this uh, show, which was an international art show in Los Angeles, and I met the dealer, the uh, the owner of that gallery, ACP, in Salzburg. They have since gone out of business, which is a lot of what happens when you're in the when you're a painter. You can have a you can have a fine situation one day and the next day it changes and that's what happened with uh, this dealer he had my show which was a success this the show was a success and the next show was such a disaster that it sort of put him out of business because he just couldn't you know if you spend a lot of money like that catalog i think he spent ten thousand dollars on getting that catalog printed so it was a big, uh, big investment. And it worked out in my case, but the next one, it did not work out. So as a result, it was a disaster and he went out of business. And that painting right there, that uh, image right there, which is a charcoal study of my face, which was the study for a portrait of my family, which an oil portrait, which turned out really great. My daughter has that now. Beautiful portrait. And he's, he did, that's that uh, Joseph Albers, and then this piece right here, he also did this painting. He got his training at the uh, Art Students League in New York. So, that was good. Lots of interesting stuff. That's one of the things about uh, living in a, a house that's heated by the sun. That this is what happens to you. You'll be inside your house and it's like you're outdoors. It can be an issue. It can be an issue. Big view out here. 
And these are other things that, that are in my collection. This is done by a guy named Ruben Gonzalez. That is his first metal sculpture. He has a piece in the Hirshhorn in Washington, D.C. That piece right there is a screen print that I made many, many years ago. I took a class at the university and made that screen print. And that screen print, it was interesting because that screen print, I was in Las Vegas, Nevada, and I saw a screen printed piece there, and I liked it, and I took the guy's name down and called him when I got to uh, uh, got back to Albuquerque, living in Albuquerque at the time. This is 19, 1989, I guess it was. And uh, the person who owned this screen printing studio, who did screen prints for artists, it was a, an atelier, I guess you would call it, whatever, a place for making a limited edition screen prints. I told him that, yeah, I had taken a, a, uh, a course in screen printing and this and that, and the guy offered me a job on the telephone. So about two weeks later, I was rolling into Los Angeles not knowing anybody, not knowing a single person, except this voice on the phone. And I lived in Los Angeles for about almost 12 years. I got there, I was 39, and I left when I was 50. Ceramic pieces that I've done. All kinds of things. All kinds of work. This is a beautiful piece. This is a very Japanese painting. Very Japanese piece right here. This is a very interesting piece too. Really good. I like this piece a lot. So anyway, I wanted to just give you a little a little uh, tour of my studio. <laughs> it's a very small tour, but it is a tour. This is uh, my numbering system. I have lots of codes. I have a code. I have writings and and codes that I've produced. This is a this is the uh, this is numbers. These are numbers. This right here is an interesting piece. This is like the Rosetta Stone, except different. This right here, up here, this is one one code, which is a language. This is another one right here underneath it. This is a different language, and there's a different language under there. Those are actual languages. And, uh, and then this is a uh, part of my uh, a code that I've developed over years. So that's a little flower that came from my yard. So lots of different things that I've made. It's a fun... It's a fun thing to to have these around because I made them. A friend of mine made that painting right there. He was he got the award for in New Mexico for painting one year, the uh, governor's award. All kinds of things, all kinds of things. So, very interesting series of work right there. Very interesting. I like that series of work. This, these pieces here. Uh, 
That was a fun thing. These are absolutely enjoyable to make. This is made with paper and wax and cardboard. So, a very interesting series that I did. This is a, an interesting little sculpture. It's made with, with, uh, this is aircraft aluminum parts, pieces that were from aircraft. It was, you know, it's called aircraft, I guess aircraft grade or whatever, aluminum. And this piece right here is a, it's a Nambe ware. It's a pot that's made in, um, here in New Mexico, Nambe. And these are flowers that, uh, this is from the yard and these are from Amarellas. That's my chair from Los Angeles, from my studio in LA. That's a beautiful image right there. It's a beautiful image. You can paint that. That's a beautiful painting. Beautiful. And then these are other ceramic pieces that I made. So it's a, it's an interesting world. A friend of mine made that and then another guy made that. This is this is a really beautiful piece here. This is a this is a fossil that I got when I was I was on a I was on a trip to Santa Fe, and they had a there was a uh, they were having road construction, and so they stopped all the cars so that the road construction continued. So while they were doing that, I was out walking around, and I found that. So that was a good find. That was a that was a good find. So, interesting, interesting stuff. Well, anyway, I just wanted to uh, make a quick video to show anyone that hasn't seen my videos in a while what I'm doing. And this is, this is from my trip when I was in Europe. That's me in Rome. This right here, that's me in, uh, I think that's in, uh, if I'm not mistaken, that might be in the... Uh, the chapel of San Lorenzo, or the, the Medici chapel, I'm not sure. So, it's kind of fun. It's enjoyable. This is from a college that I had, the Members College. Uh, my wife and I had a store a long, long time ago, and, and it was a Members River, and this is the Members Pottery design. And so I took the design and started the Members College and it was obviously a fictitious college, but it was a it was a fun thing, and it was it was fun to have those and and you know sell them in the store, you know, because it was it was the members' college. <laughs>